Yeah, I was doing some casting, and the one bullet I go through a lot of is 45 ACP because I've got two 1911s and a Thompson. And, you know, Thompson, you go through a lot of lead. Well, the bullet I, I cast, it's a Lee 230 grain that is the tumbaloo bullet. You know, it's got the small ridges. The nice thing about them, you don't really have to size them. You can just tumbaloo them and load them. But I've got one of these gang molds that I use for that. And they work really well. Uh, I have a, a two block mold that I used to use, but that's pretty slow going. This way, you know, you're, you're doing a half dozen of them at a time and that adds up pretty quick. I've got several of these for, for different applications. Well, and the one thing I was going to mention, this, you can see it's black inside. It's because I smoke them before I start. You know, that's how you break them in. But then they drop clean. Uh, out of that whole bunch, what is it? It's got to be a couple hundred. No, maybe more than that. Uh, I think it's 20 by 20. There's a lot of them anyway. But out of that whole bunch, I only got these. It must be what, about 10, maybe a dozen that didn't work out. You know, they didn't pass inspection. But now as soon as this cools down, I'm going to use, I've got another one of these molds that is for making buckshot. Now that takes regular lead, you know, not the wheel weights. These are the wheel weights. But I've got a pile of that. In fact, this lead that I'm using is stuff that came from that auction I was to last fall, I believe. But I got plenty of lead. It just happens to be that's where that's from. But I purposely, you know, like you can see, like, oh, this one is very shiny. But, let's see if I can find one that's, here's one that's kind of frosty looking. Now, I like that. For tumbalooving, the lube stays better on a frosty looking surface. So if you run the temperature a little higher, the lube will, you know, it'll get frosty and then the lube will stick to it better. It's not too particularly fussy, but it don't hurt to run it a little on the hot side. But now I'm going to tumble them and then set them out and let them dry. But it makes a nice bullet. And like I say, I use it in the Thompson. shoots excellent in that. It shoots excellent in both 45s. You know, nothing wrong with that bullet. But having these gang type molds, man, that really speeds things up. Makes it much better. You know, because two at a time, that's pretty slow going when you're doing hundreds of them. What you think? Now, 20 by 20. Well, 10 by 10 would be 100. So I maybe have 400 here. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I just make them until I'm tired of making them. I'll always shoot them up. You know, you start loading 50 at a time into Thompson, you go through bullets. But it's good to have them out of the way for a while. And I, I've done a, a, quite a little loading. And I think I was loading some uh, 35 Remington with the SR4759. Now, I think that's one of them powders they don't even make anymore. Would you look? $22.99? <laughs> and I still got like three quarters of a jug of it. I might even have another jug of that. I tend to always have spares. So I never run out. But now I gotta load these. But now, in fact, there was a guy who was saying about setting up die sets. You have to understand, I don't, you know, once I get them set up, I, I run two presses, a, a three hole and a four hole. Now the four hole, I've got the automatic powder measure to do something pistol rounds like this. So it's pretty, you know, you just sit there and hammer them out. It's not a big deal. But setting up, 
When I set up dies, I set them up very carefully one time, then I'm done with them. I don't touch them again. I have many turrets of both three and four hole, but that's the way I like to do it. That whole idea of pulling them out and redoing them each time, no, that ain't for me. I want the consistency you can get by, by keeping them in the turret and organized in that way. Works good for me. But that's going to be a little loading to do now.